I'll play against the first person to send who sends a challenge. And somebody sent a friend request, Super Slasher accepted. Um, Titan. I mean, there aren't any specific rules. I'm following uh, the Pokedex, so essentially I have to build a deck with the next Pokemon um, in Pokedex order. So that's why I just played Starmie, next is Mr. Mime, next is uh, Scyther, so technically Scissor. Um, after that is Jinx, then Magmar, then Electabuzz. Um, so those are rules for me, but you can use any deck you'd like. Um, the thing is, since these cards are like uh, subpar, like there's a reason Mr. Mime is not meta. Um, if you use a meta deck, then um, it can get quite tricky for me. Yeah, and like the game won't last very long. But if you use a non-meta deck, just like the previous match that you witnessed, um, that lends itself for um, more fun matches, I would say. Um, because if you use a meta deck, then I just get destroyed within a few turns, and then that's it. But if you use a non-meta deck, then um, that's pretty cool. And then, if no one wants to send the challenge, we can jump into a ladder and see if the Mr. Mime deck that I built um, can showcase um, a couple of uh, interesting games. Um, it's like I missed all the Mr. Mime cards are underwhelming, so I just put in the Mr. Mime uh, into another deck that I had built, and hopefully the theme um, fits well. And of course, we have the Victini, that's the fire type Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you want to send a challenge, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, um, I'll start going to the ladder. Yeah, and I'll just find a game that way. So I'll give it a few more seconds before I start searching for a match on the ladder. Um, I, I just It's more enjoyable to play against you guys because if I play against a Zorak deck with Mr. Mime, I'm just going to get destroyed. But if you guys are using non-meta decks, um, if you guys are using non-meta decks, then that's um, a lot more... A lot more fun. Um, <laughs> okay, so Raya. Yeah, I know the the time it doesn't vote well, um, but I might also. Okay, there we go. Um, Hector, thank you so much for sending the challenge. Okay. And yeah, Joe Bro, that's perfectly fine. And yeah, the White Snake. I wish you had your computer as well. That would be good. Okay. So. We lose a coin flip, but that's fine. So this is a, a spreading deck. Um, and we have Mr. Mime, which uh, for two colorless energy, you flip four coins. Okay, there we go. There's a Mr. Mime immediately. We flip four coins. And then we deal 20 damage for every head. So with Mew, we have Psychic Typing. Since the beginning, like with triple heads, we could actually get a knockout on a 60 HP basic, which is not terrible. Um, and then the first attack could potentially take us out of a dead draw situation. And we see a Poliwag with a natural Bridget. So this is going to be a fun match for sure. Um, and then I have Town and I have Tapu Koko as well to have like a spreading uh, scenario where we can spread and then hopefully rearrange damage counters or um, have Mr. Mime finish off uh, our opponent's Pokemon. Corey, thank you so much for the pledge on Patreon. Thank you so much. Um, I'm guessing you're looking forward to the Tailbone GX, so thank you so, so much for signing up. Um, I don't know if you're watching or not, but thank you so, so much for your support. Okay. <laughs> Next time you'll take your lunch when I stream. Yeah, that works. <laughs> That works. Um, okay, so I could. Okay, I don't get um, a DCE, so we're not gonna have a chance at knocking out the Poliwag. However, we will. The Floatstone, I don't even know why I play Floatstone series. I'm just gonna mimic, and we're gonna shuffle our hand and draw six, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, I remember the white snake. That was pretty fun. Okay, so we're gonna see a wonder tag. I also, as you can see, I also purposely don't use Tapulele and stuff. Um, like to make the decks, if someone wants to play them for fun, they can just build them very easily. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I figured that you were working, that you were supposed to be working, right? Okay, so we're gonna see a rare candy into either Politoed or Polyrath. And it is indeed Politoed, and we get 30 damage off the Town. Then we get 30 damage on the Poliwhirl, which is nice. And ooh, Politoed ignores all colorless energy in the attack costs of Poliwags, Poliwhirls, and Polyrats. So my opponent with a single water could wave splash for 60, or he can flip two coins to double slap. And my opponent will actually just immediately, um, immediately attach the water so he's gonna waste flash for one water and get a knockout that way oh no <laughs> rob sees just immediately counters all the damage that potown actually did so <laughs> that's a perfect counter to our whole deck because now our spreading damage strategy just won't work either so our best and perhaps only chance is to flip four heads here. That is perhaps our best and only chance to flip four heads here. I'm gonna Cynthia. <laughs> yeah, it's like you guys keep getting the, the best counter decks. You guys just keep getting the best counter decks. Okay, so let's juggle. Let's get those four heads. Um, okay, so we're definitely gonna reflip because just any damage um, There we go. So we got three heads. We were 20 shorts. We almost got the knockout um, But yeah, like when you flip one heads, it's always great to reflip um, Because it's likely that you'll get either the same result or better So we're gonna see a dive ball um, We don't have a good bench Our deck has been very slow to get going we're gonna see a Polyrath. <laughs> We're gonna see a Polyrath evolving through Poton once again. And oh gosh. <laughs> now I wish I had. Um, now I wish I had the, um, the bench prevent damage, Mr. Mime. Steamroll deals 60 and 30 to a bench Pokemon and submission deals 130 damage and. Polyrath deals 30 to itself. So my opponent, of course, yeah, looking for that rough seas, looking for a water to be able to knock out the Mr. Mime. Big Teeny is back indeed. <laughs> yeah, people are talking about adult stuff, <laughs> grad school and stuff. <laughs> okay. So there's the knockout. Now, ooh, we top deck stretcher, which actually, potentially, as long as we flip two heads with Mr. Mime here, which is average, we should be able to knock out this Polyrath, um, which will be pretty good, honestly. Um, I'm gonna field blower away the stadium and. Probably the muscle band. Yeah, because another polyrath with a muscle band just wrecks us. So the field are pre pretty clutch. <laughs> and then juggling. One head. Okay, perfect. We just needed two heads, so we don't have to reflip. So Mr. Mime takes its first victim. Darn, we keep getting the energy lotus, but we're not finding nest balls. You're just not finding any nest balls. We see the polywirl. If Mr. Mime survives, like any damage Mr. Mime deals is good. There's an N, that's okay. That is A-okay. 
And yeah, the issue... Okay, he's gonna wave splash for 60. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna Potown. I'm gonna bench the Coco. I'm also gonna bench the Victini. And I'm gonna end. I'm just trying to thin a little bit. And <laughs> my opponent gets angry at the... At the Potown. Okay. So... <laughs> Mr. Mime... The Mr. Mime Swarm. Okay. Energy Lodo. We're gonna grab a counter. I'm gonna attach the counter to the Coco. Because I might switch to a spreading type of deal. Especially spreading against the Articuno seems good. So I'll bench the other Coco. And then here, I'm just gonna juggle. Get any damage on the Poliwhirl is fine. Ooh, triple heads. I don't want to reflip that. Because even with four heads, we don't get a knockout. So, might as well. Might as well just keep that damage. We see a floatstone on the active. Interesting. On the active. We're gonna see a dive ball. Hopefully, no more rough seas, though. Um, no, Mr. Mime's first attack uh, shuffles your hand into the deck and you draw the same number of cards your opponent has. So we use that attack on turn one, actually. Um, so yeah, I, I thought, okay, if there's a Mr. Mime like a Pseudo Wudo, that would be pretty cool because then we could like do stuff like watch and learn, but that's just not the case, unfortunately. So I really wonder how many stadiums my opponent has. Is that? Okay, oh no, <laughs> the DC on the Lele just knocks out the Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime has been putting in the work though. That Polyrath is quite nicely damaged. Okay, so is this where we switch to a spreading strategy? Probably? I think so. We're gonna switch to a spreading strategy and hopefully we're gonna leave everything in range to be knocked out by Mr. Mime. That's gonna be the plan, I guess. Gonna burn the nest ball. Um, Tapu Lele is also pretty interesting here. So I do have Tapu Lele. I do have Tapu Lele in this deck. <laughs> no, no, you you guys are not being distracting. Don't worry. I was just making the comment. I was just making the comment. Okay. Um. We haven't seen any indication of field lower yet. So I'm gonna flying flip. And that does put quite a lot of damage on the board. That does put quite a lot of damage on the board. Oh no, <laughs> the immediate goods my response on the Victini, poor Victini. Why <laughs> go after the Victini? <laughs> my bunch just dealt a hundred damage to Victini, poor Victini. Okay. So we can counter catch her again. That was only the first Kuzma out of multiples, I would assume. Right? Out of multiples. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that again. And we're gonna Sycamore. We're gonna attach an energy to the Lele. And we're gonna flying flip. So now we have a ton of damage counters in play. We have um, 130, 90, 230, 270, 310, 350. So we have 350 damage on the board. And to get five prices, we would need 170, 230, 450. No, the rough seas. The rough seas, no. Mr. Mime's arm sounds terrifying. Ah, uh, that just took off 120 damage from the board. And we're potentially gonna be put to sleep. Well, we are going to be put to sleep. We're gonna... Okay, we did wake up though, which is nice. Okay, I definitely cannot let my opponent just keep healing. I definitely cannot let him do that anymore. He is down to two prize cards now. So, I'm really gonna have to like spread again. 
<laughs> no thank yous. I'm gonna have to spread again and then probably start rearranging cards to like I'm gonna oh no I'm not gonna get a prize card either okay I will Potum though and flying flip is my deck as broken as Seeking? Probably not. Seeking is just on a whole other level. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Got it. I just sneezed. Yep, another Potown. Number four. I mean, he only has one Pokemon that kind of all, so Poton is no longer that good. Wow, Mr. Soda King, where's that, uh, where's that seeking emoji from? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, it would be cool to get a seeking em emote, right? It would be pretty cool to get a seeking emote. <laughs> it became kind of like a meme. For that, we need more subscribers, though. We're only at 27, and we need 50. Okay, so we did stay asleep this time around. And, I mean, my opponent shouldn't be able to knock me out with Triage. Even if he flips all three heads, he shouldn't be able to knock me out. But we're not gonna get... We're not gonna get Spreading done this turn. Oh, those are pretty cool, Mr. Soda King. Those are pretty cool emotes. <laughs> that Ace Elf on the Cartman thing? <laughs> yeah, everyone should stop. We need that emote. Okay. No, Guzma, no. Poor Lele. What did Lele ever do to you? What did Lele ever do to you? Okay. So, we're gonna need to find our... Oh no, it's here. Okay, I'm in a lot of trouble here. I don't think I'm gonna win this one. Two Guzmas. Two Guzmas. Ah, uh, my last counter catcher is prized. My last counter catcher is prized. Okay, so. And my last. Yeah, my other Layla is prized too. I don't. I don't see how I win. How much damage is this? 60. Plus 110. That is knockout. That is, in fact, knockout on Lele. I should not have pinched that Mew. That was a mistake. <laughs> Lele on Lele attacks are wrong indeed. Okay, we're gonna Electric Ball here to knock out the Lele. And we need the Counter Catcher. No, those are not Counter Catchers. Yes, this is a Pocket Extreme Gummy Gamer, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can, if we get, whenever we get to 50 sub points, I can make the next emote become Seeking. That would be pretty cool. Um, no, Guzma? No, okay. My point doesn't seem to have Guzma. Play Seeking at Brazil? Definitely not. How the Pokedex has Victini indeed. It's like, those are the most fun cards, right? Those are definitely the most fun cards. Okay, my opponent's gonna deal some damage here. He's probably looking for Guzma. Guzma wins him the game. And go 0-9. Yeah, I'm not gonna play Seeking in Brazil for sure. <laughs> Let me borrow your Victini for my coin flips, he says. <laughs> Oh, he flips triple heads? What? He flipped triple heads. You don't need Big Tini. <laughs> you don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it. Oh gosh, that was super scary. That was, in fact, extremely scary. <laughs> okay. Ah, oh, we're 10 short. That last rough seize was huge for my opponent. Okay, if I... Attack with Mr. Mime. 
I had tackled Mr. Mine, I could actually potentially get a knockout. I'm just gonna flying flip. That knocks out the Polyrath as well, which is good. And like, I'm one turn away from winning by knocking out these two Pokemon. Te fue mal con Golisopod? ¿Cuál Golisopod? Ah, le preguntas a Koray. <laughs> um, Sora Clyke and Rock me gusta más. Koray, Sora Clyke and Rock me gusta más. Ok. No, Lele for Kuzma. Oh. Lele for Kuzma wins my opponent the game. Oh, and he's getting greedy. If he flips Triple Tails, we should be good. <laughs> oh no, never mind. <laughs> Polyrad just gets double prizes here. I forgot about the Polytoad. Okay, GG. 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 <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty fun, I would say. Okay, so I'm gonna accept you guys. And then if there's any subscriber that would like to play now, um, GG Hector. If there's any subscriber that would like to play, please, please send me the challenge. Um, otherwise, whoever sends me a challenge first will get to go first. Um, so, uh, Tapu Bulu with Vika Volt is still viable. Definitely still viable. And yeah, any subscriber. Otherwise, I'm gonna play um, Gamer Evolved. Game Revolt, oh, okay, Game Revolt is you, perfect. Okay, so you're gonna suffer the wrath of Mr. Mine. Okay, so we, we win the coin flip, which is nice. And he's using a Dragon type deck, so we might actually have weakness advantage um, with Mr. Mine. <laughs> We might actually have weakness advantage with Mr. Mime here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. So... It is a Psyguard deck, so Mr. Mind Flips are gonna be pretty cool. Core Enforcer. Okay, so pretty cool deck by Joe Bro. Pretty cool deck. Okay. Um, there's a Mr. Mime. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And then I will pass. Um, I could start spreading. Uh, Manchas, thank you so much for the bits. Very kind of you. Um, that was a pretty close game, honestly. That was fun. Thank you so much for the bits. Thank you so much. Oh wow, it's a Cernia's Evil Tall Tiger deck. So all the legendary Pokemon. And it's an XYZ deck. Oh my gosh. Illuminati confirmed. It's an X X Y Z deck. Awesome. Okay. And uh, the chat is talking to themselves, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna start spreading because if my opponent's not gonna pressure my um, Mr. Mime, then I'm just gonna go ahead and start spreading to put everything in easier range for Mr. Mime. That's it. That's the idea. Now, the energy cost for Psycard is pretty awkward, but um, once the new unit energy comes out, it'll be good, and then yeah. Um, Oh, I just realized, yeah, the, the Psychic, I mean, the Fairy and Dark type make sense because of Xerneas and Evil Top. Wow, there's actually some sort of correlation there. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Chat is evolving, yeah. Okay. Um, like, I don't even need to attach anymore. I guess I could attach just in case I need to retreat, but I'll just flying flip here. I will just flying flip. Um, okay, we see.
Lucia, Cynthia. So my opponent attaches a DC on the evil tile, he will be able to retreat and knock out my Coco. But then Mr. Mime... <laughs> okay, picture this in the video game or in the cartoon. When could you ever assume that a Mr. Mime could take on a fully a full form side card and be successful at it. So how many flips do we need? He has 150 HP so 110 damage left. So we I mean we still need three heads honestly which is not easy at all. We still need three heads here. So that's not gonna be easy whatsoever. We're gonna get two chances which is nice but so we might need another Mr. Mind to pick up uh, the pieces after the active one. Unless the active one gets the three flips. So what do you guys think? How many flips are we going to get? How many flips are we going to get with juggling? One tails, two tails. Okay, so we definitely want our flip. We got the exact opposite of what we wanted. And now we got average, but we're 10 short. We are 10 short of the knockout 10 short of the knockout um he did have to discard all of the energy though and land crush doesn't knock out mr mime so mr mime can't take a hit from Psyguard. mr mime can't take a hit from Psyguard. okay see an energy lodo we see an ultra ball it's pretty cool to recharge with Ivaltal or to power up with Cernia, so the synergy is definitely there. The synergy between all these legendary Pokemon is definitely there. And I feel like, coincidentally, all of them have been Pokemon League promos too. All of them have been League promos as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so only 10 damage, but my opponent will get to recharge. Um, he did play Acerola, so he completely, completely healed his Pokemon. So now, I might just go ahead and spread with Coco, honestly. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread with Coco. When I retreat the Mr. Mime, I wanna put things in range of um, of Mr. Mime, so that Mr. Mime can flip and finish them off. Uh, the Kukui and Weakness was pretty good. And your opponent could include a double Dragon Energy. Yeah, so because I, like, if you want to build decks like that and the double Dragon Energy would benefit your deck for this series, that's completely fine. Like, I won't, I will, like, it's fine to use expanded cards. Um, as long as you're not using, like, a a Zoric Execute, uh, Skyfield, Spiral Compressor, Expanded Engine, then Double Dragon Energy is fine for the series. Like, it's it's not strictly standard. If you feel like you have a, a cool deck um, that could benefit from some expanded cards, just like my opponent used um, Rough Seas and the Politoed um, from Expanded. So it's completely, completely fine to do that. Okay, we're gonna keep spreading. You wanted to play Gardevoir from Next Destiny. That's completely fine as well. Yeah, that's completely fine. Um, you can build with expanded cards. Um, it's completely fine. This is all about fun and casual games. We're not that serious about it. So feel free to, to build decks like that, guys. It's really no big deal. It's really no big deal. A floatstone. We see a floatstone here, and we see the um, the Coco get immediately knocked out once again by the side guard. Land crushing it up. 
Okay, so there are a lot of damage counters that we could potentially rearrange with Lele. So we'll have to decide what we want to do. Do we want to attack with Mr. Mime? Or do we want to rearrange the damage counters? I feel like Mr. Mime just needs to get, uh, needs to redeem itself from the previous game. <laughs> Look at all the attacks. Um, Mr. Mime needs to redeem itself. So I'm just going to let it go for the juggling triple heads. There's one, there's two. Ah, oh, so close. Let's reflip. I want that knockout, Mr. Mime. No. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Mime is currently doing average. Mr. Mime is currently doing average. However, that is a lot of damage that is in play. So that's 260, um, 380, 460, 540, and then 620. 620 damage in play. Which is probably enough for maybe four prizes, anywhere between three and four. So we would benefit from another turn of spreading. Another turn of spreading would knock out, would give us three prizes actually. Would give us three more prizes. Okay, so there's this the fairy energy, so oh no, the fighting fury belt. The synergy between all three cards is pretty cool, honestly. Pretty, pretty cool. Like, you want Xerneas early to get energy from deck, and then you want Evil Tall late to recover energy from Discord Pile. The synergy is pretty cool, and the fact that it's like the triple legendary deck, it's so, so cool. I really like my opponent's deck. I really, really like my opponent's deck, honestly. Okay. So, I feel like Mr. Mime's Wrath is just not going to cut it here. It's just not going to cut it. Um, so, either I want the Tapu Koko here to spread once again. Uh, the Potown, completely useless. I can get the Koko. That, like I said, that does get me three prize cards. Manchas, igualmente, muchas gracias. <laughs> muchísimas, muchísimas gracias. Que tengas un buen fin de semana. Y quién sabe, quizás nos veamos aquí mañana. O el domingo, no lo sabemos. <laughs> Muchas gracias y buen juego. Okay, do I rearrange damage counters now or later? Maybe now. Maybe I should do it now. Let's do it now. We want a magical swap. Okay, so the damage on Oranguru is irrelevant. Let's knock out this Evelto. And then let's knock out. The active. And then let's knock out this guy. So 11 damage counters. We need to transfer 11 damage counters over here. And then hopefully Mr. Mime can just do the rest. Or maybe we leave this alive. Two flips is 100 damage. Okay, so technically I don't need that much. So I'll send them back to the Oranguru. I'm gonna knock out the Oranguru. 90 is enough, because then two flips with Mr. Mime is enough. And I'm just gonna heal the um, the Cernias. And like we have the perfect amount to get four prizes. And the Cernias is just not scary whatsoever. So yeah, perfect numbers to leave this down to two flips with Mr. Mime. Or like one energy away from Lele as well. Um, but we're gonna if we have the opportunity, we're gonna use Mr. Mime because this is a Pokedex series, so we wanna focus on the Pokemon at hand. That's why it was so hard to build that Jinx deck. <laughs> Building a Jinx deck was so so complicated. Okay, and now we are done. So we we wow, that's a lot of damage counters. There's one price card. There's the second prize card. There's the third prize card. All the clicks, yep. <laughs> and there's the fourth prize card. Perfect. Perfectissimo. <laughs> the opponent says we have a good deck, which I appreciate him saying so. See the floatstone. A DC knocks out Mew? 
But then Mr. Mime just revenge KOs the Psyguard, hopefully, with just two heads. Like the chances of us flipping just one or zero heads twice in a row are so low that I'm just counting on Mr. Mime. I'm really, really counting on Mr. Mime here. Okay, let me just close the blinds really quickly. One second, guys. I was getting burned here. Um, the side guard could be good with Xenia, the new supporter that, 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 that attaches up to two energy cards to one dragon Pokemon. Yeah, potentially. Um, it does hit like a truck for sure. 150 damage is nothing to to laugh at, honestly. Um, my opponent did attach a darkness. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that damage, that energy spread looks pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, even though Lele is a secure knockout, we're just gonna let Mr. Mime have its, um, have its moment. We're gonna let Mr. Mime have its moment here. Definitely gonna have, gonna let Mr. Mime have its moment. So we're gonna attach to it. Um, we're gonna play the other Lele and the other Mr. Mime. And we're gonna end. It hurts us both, technically, um, but that's fine. That is completely fine. And now we're looking for double heads here, guys. There's one, there's two, there's three. Yeah, now you get the four heads, Mr. Mime. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Mr. Mime just sends Zygarde into oblivion. Why get the four heads now, guys? <laughs> Why, Mr. Mime? Why? <laughs> Why do you do it? Okay, that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Okay. And yeah, guys, for those of you who asked, there's also coaching on the Patreon. So, if you guys are interested, please, please, please check it out. Okay, M21 gives us a counter catcher. Now we're hoping this Mr. Mime can finish off the game for us. But I mean, eventually, like Tapu Lele is insurance, right? Tapu Lele is insurance. We're just gonna juggle here. Uh, we're gonna get average, so I'm gonna flip again. That, <laughs> and we get worse than average. Um. My opponent just attached one energy though, so he might not have too many left. How many has he gone through? Oh, only two fairy and five darkness. Well, two fairy, two four, three four. So four fairy, four DC, and five darkness. I would assume he plays five fairy, five darkness, and four DCs. That's what I'm imagining. That is what I'm imagining. You see a Fighting Fury Belt, which is bad news, definitely. Bad, bad news. Mr. Mime is trolling indeed. <laughs> Mr. Mime is trolling indeed. Okay. We should have this game under control though. Four head flips is not enough to knock out certain next turn. We see a nest ball getting burnt. We see a nest ball getting burnt, which is fine. Okay. So 
So nothing we can do other than juggle. And we do get average once again. So I'm gonna choose to reflip here. <laughs> the same thing happened. The same thing happened. The same thing just happened again. No. <laughs> Oh gosh. Okay. Maybe I should have used Mimic the previous turn. I don't know if my opponent has a Darkness energy or not. Left. He might not, honestly. Four cards left. He might not have a way to get another Darkness energy. And we see an N. Maybe he does. Oh, energy retrieval. That makes so much sense. That makes so much sense. And now he's gonna attach the dark, knock out Mr. Mime, and then Land Crush can probably help him finish the game. So we need to top deck a fairy right here, right now. Oh gosh, poor Mr. Mime just can't catch a break. Okay, we get an N. So we remove the energy from his end. We get a Cynthia after. Okay, so this is gonna be a tight close. This is gonna be a very, very tight close. Does he get the energy or does he just pass? My opponent is two land crushes away from winning. We are um, two side waves away from winning. But I do have this Cynthia, so maybe I can get it off before he can. Maybe. I think. Oh no, <laughs> the Kuzma. I think I only have one fairy left though. This is a Geomancy for the fairy. Yep. This is bad news. This is really, really bad news. We need... No. I think we're done here. I think we are done. Um, counter energy doesn't help us. Counter energy, in fact, does not help us. Okay. This does, though. So this is the plan now. We're gonna recover Tabu Coco, we're gonna retreat into the Coco, which can take a hit. And then next turn, hopefully with Sycamore into a fairy. Oh boy. Down to one prize card each. Down to one prize card each. This is the second game of Mr. Mime, right? Oh no, he's all against him another energy. Is this a second? Like, we might actually win by deck out. That might be my win condition here. Unless he has... Yeah, he must have a third Guzma, right? He must have a third Guzma. Um, although Guzma wouldn't help him. No, he, it would because he got the Floatstone back. Is this the second Mr. Mime game or the first one? I'm generally not sure. Okay, do we have a fairy left? No, we don't. The fairy might actually be our last prize card. Okay, so Mr. Mime really has to put in the work here. Really, really has to put in the work. We need the four heads. Okay, that's average. Let's reflip. One, two, uh, <laughs> three heads. I got really excited for a second there. Okay, does he have Guzma Float? Yes, that's the Guzma Float. Or another Retrieval. Oh no, oh we have 80 HP, I thought we had 90. <laughs> I thought we had 90 HP. No. <laughs> so we needed the four heads. Damage, Mr. Rhyme dealt 1,120 damage. That was an insane game. That was actually an insane game. Thank you so much for the game, Joe Bro. Thank you so much for the game. That was very fun. That was definitely very fun. 
Wow, that was intense. That was very, very intense. Great game, Joe, bro. Great, great game. You were able to pull it off despite the weakness. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I generally thought Mr. Mime had 90 HP there at the end. <laughs> I generally thought that. Okay. So, guys, um, I think that's going to be Mr. Mime's time in the spotlight for now. Um, this was the deck I built for Mr. Mime, as you can see. Um, that was cool. <laughs> for a sec, I thought you were going to try to knock me out. What do you mean? Um, I did try. Oh, deck you out. Yeah, I thought about it. I definitely thought about it. Um, I just figured I only saw two Kuzmas. So I figured you would have a third one. Um, but I did think about it. I definitely thought about it. I don't think I had enough energy though left because my last fairy was priced, I think. Um, but yeah, it, it did cross my, my mind for sure. It did cross my mind. Um, so yeah, guys. Um, any subscriber that would like to play, um, please say so. Oh, you only had two. Okay, I didn't know that. Um, <laughs> yeah, it did cross my mind. Um, so yeah, any subscriber that would like to play, um, please say so in the chat. Um, otherwise, I will play against um, the first viewer that sends a challenge. I will be happy to play against the first viewer who sends a challenge. It's now um, Scyther's turn in the Pokedex, so essentially Scissor. Um, essentially Scissor. And yeah, guys, whoever wants to send a challenge, please, please feel free to do so. Please feel free to do so. Otherwise, 